Yeah, I think he's going places. Yeah. That is impressive stuff. And speaking of water, there will be some runoff into our rivers and streams here. Exactly. A lot of rain we saw last night. More on the way as we track the remnants of Gordon. As we look at live radar right now across the region, Gordon still having an impact across the southeast United States, uh, bringing rain from southern portions of Mississippi, wrapping back around the center part of the low, uh, just northeast of Pine Bluff. So this continues to track to the northwest throughout the day today, and that's going to be the trend. It's going to move northwest and eventually veer to the northeast away from our area. Let's take a closer look in at our area right now as we continue to track scattered showers, a few thunderstorms in the area. We take a closer view We're all the way down to street level. We find rain and Porter uh, down towards Spring Hill and Taft. These showers continue to slowly drift to the south. Always fun to see this in summer months. These dissipate, so they send out an outflow boundary, which help it, helps ignite more showers and a few thunderstorms across the area. Just the natural process of those showers and thunderstorms developing, collapsing and redeveloping right now in Tulsa all is quiet and dry. We're not out of the woods just yet as we do have more opportunities for rainfall. You're going outside this evening. Temperatures in the lower 80s at 7 o'clock down into the 70s for early portions of your Friday. Lake levels, uh, most of them pretty good. Sky took dropping a little too much, unfortunately, because Tulsa in the north has seen a really a lack of rainfall. They need rain. And that's why we had the deficit in sky took and then you head down to Fort Gibson five feet above normal and we do have a chance for some scattered showers and storms for our upcoming Friday. Right now in Tulsa, it's 84 degrees. We have a north wind about 10 miles per hour. Today's highs are current temperature after starting off the day in the lower 70s. Going through the overnight hours, still a chance for some scattered showers in the area. As you start your day tomorrow morning, expect a few sprinkles in the area with the heaviest concentration of rain to the west of Tulsa. And then as we head towards afternoon, we'll still see an opportunity for more showers and storms to redevelop. So 7 a.m. tomorrow morning in Tulsa, 72 degrees. Showers to the west of the city. Now during the day tomorrow, as Gordon gets a little closer, it's going to begin to put a little more moisture back into our air and have a little more potential for sh scattered showers and storms to redevelop by five. Temperatures generally in the lower 80s in Tulsa, Bartlesville at 77, Stigler at 82, and McAllister at 83 with northeast winds coming in on that northwestern quadrant of the remnants of Gordon, which actually helped keep temperatures relatively pleasant for this time of year. The weekend it's kind of a fall preview. Check this out. Mid 70s Saturday. We have a slight chance for a hit or miss shower and a widespread rain opportunity Saturday and then Sunday. Definitely a taste of fall 77 for an afternoon high. What a gorgeous day after starting off the day in the lower 60s. We look to the extended highs in the mid 80s, so no real heat in sight for the next seven days. And with that little taste of fall on Sunday, 77, we're going to be breaking out the uh, pumpkin mocha latte, frappuccino <laughs> what? twist, whatever they call them, by this weekend. Non-fat, no whip. There you go. All right. Slightly stirred. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Mike. Have recent.